he was worried that this was actually gonna cost him the election. So he admonished his Secretary of Agriculture, Earl Rusty Butts, I love that name, okay, to f basically take food off the political table to make food a non-issue in presidential elections. Well, the only way to do that was to make food cheap. So he was out to find all methods to be able to decrease the price of food. Remember Nixon's war on poverty? This, we're suffering from it today. Okay, that's what this is, okay? Second political win, the advent of high fructose corn syrup. Okay? So this was invented in 1966 at Saga Medical School in Japan by a guy named Takasaki, who's still alive. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, this stuff is Japan's revenge for World War II. <laughs> Except, of course, that they're suffering from it now themselves. Okay? Like everything, you know, it always comes back to haunt you. Okay? And it was introduced to the American market in 1975. So what do you think happened to the price of sugar when this thing hit the market? Here's what happened. So here's the U.S. producer price index of sugar going up and down and up and down, okay? This is not good, okay? Um, stability is at 100%. If it stays nice and stable at 100%, that's what you want, okay, if you're a politician. Up and down. Here's where corn sweeteners entered the market, 1975, 1980, and you can see that since then, the price of sugar has remained remarkably constant. And it did so not just in the US, but also on the international stage. Here's the London price doing the same thing. And when you look at the difference in price between uh, sugar and high fructose corn syrup, you can see that high fructose corn syrup is about half the price. Okay? So in other words, it's cheap. So high fructose corn syrup is evil, but it's not evil because it's metabolically evil. It's evil because it's economically evil, because it's so cheap that it's found its way into everything. It's found its way into hamburger buns, pretzels, barbecue sauce, and ketchup, okay? Almost everything, okay? Somebody um, emailed me the other day and told me they went into their local grocery store and went through every single loaf of bread on the shelf. And out of 32 lo you know, types of bread on the shelf, only one of them did not have high fructose corn syrup in it. Okay? So we are being poisoned by this stuff, and it's been added surreptitiously to all of our food, every processed food. Okay? And the question is, why?